Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, you thank look fantastic. You for having, thank you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, I enjoy your Christmas decorations. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You mean some, you're saying that almost as if you don't really? I think they're quite pretty this year. They are quite pretty. In the, in Although their these own look way. like polyps, like intestinal polyps here <laughs> that have grown, that are colorful and pretty and celebrating Christmas. But uh, yeah, I like them. Yeah, no, I like them too. Uh, I don't decorate much for the holidays, uh, so I, I'm in tune with your decorations. Uh, okay, I'm taking that as a terrible slam. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean you don't decorate? Why don't you decorate? Um, I just feel like you know I don't have a lot of ornaments. Like I, I haven't, uh, I don't have a family, and and so like the only thing I could ornament would be like one of those short trees, which I feel like just screams I'm single. Right. You know. Actually, they make them now ones that actually do scream you're single. <laughs> right. <laughs> they have right. two AA batteries. Right. What's going on? Why there's no phone in your life? Uh, <laughs> there's uh, no, but I um, I never like all those years that I was single and living alone when yeah. I was working in show in LA and here in New York. I never decorated. Yeah. You sort of need another person around. When you decorate yeah. on your own, it gets kind of sad. Yeah, like I found, I was shopping the, the, the other day because I keep trying, you know, and I was looking at these really cute stockings and I was with a friend and I was like, how about these three? Or what about these three? And she's like, who are the three for? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is awful. I, I like know. your friend. Who are the others for? <laughs> You're tragically alone. I know. What kind of friend is that? I don't know. But then the thing I do have is my stepmother got, you know, the nativity scene because Catholic and uh, from the Vatican in Rome, which is like it's a really beautiful, <laughs> fancy, you know, thing with all the. But there's something kind of oddly dollhousey, you know, when you're like yes. setting up a nativity scene by yourself in your house. Right. And so I find myself making the people do bad things. <laughs> Maybe we don't want to know exactly what you're having them do. But it's hilarious. Like, what's funnier than the donkey in the cradle? Right, wow. right. <laughs> I hear people getting offended all over America I right know. now. I know. A sound I've heard before, by the way. Uh, no, you know what? We had a big nativity scene. Obviously, I'm Catholic. I grew up uh, outside Boston, and we had to, you know, we went to church every uh, day. Every day, yes, <laughs> four times a day. Right. But you were great at that last mass. But this one's even better. Uh, and they had a giant, a big, pretty big size nativity scene. Yeah. And every year, some wise guy would take the baby because all the other statues are leaning and praying and like looking down at the baby Jesus and being really reverent. Every year, some guy would take the baby Jesus and put like a dollar bill there. So everyone in the nativity scene was like, oh, pray to money. <laughs> And then the priest would get really mad and say, all right, give it back. And someone would have to come and put it back. And just yes. wacky Catholic stuff from when we were children. I know. Well, it's funny because, the, well, anyway. So that's <laughs> why. <laughs> what happened? Some mood altering drug just well, kicked because, in for no, you. Because, because, <laughs> it's so funny because, anyway. Because, because I could keep going about, like, you know, like you have the baby Jesus, like, crawling away to safety. Or, like, you know, there's. See why I stopped? <laughs> Yet, I'm gonna make you go on and on. What else would the baby Jesus do? I'm curious, I want nine scenarios right now. Um, now so yeah, so that's just my decorating, it's sad. Uh, now you shoot the show in Los Angeles, yeah. and I'm curious, uh, the big thing for LA celebrities to do is, I've never done it myself, because no. I'm not out there, but you go to a Lakers game, and you hang out, and oh. you sit right on the sidelines, and that's kind of the big thing to do out there, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, I mean, everything in LA feels like a weird schmooze fest. You know, you can't, it's the grocery store, that's the cool thing to do. Like, it's all anywhere you go. But I went to one of my first Laker games where I had some fancy person's seats, not on the floor, but this row right behind the floor. Right. But still, like, the floor is the, is all the, Fancy, fancy people, and I came down. I was a little late, and who turns from the floor seats but uh, Steven Spielberg and his lovely wife Kate Capshaw? And um, they smiled at me. I, th I th thought, <laughs> but then I'm not going to be the person the first time at the Lakers game who's like me. Hi, hi, Spielberg's like like a freak. Right. So I not only didn't smile back, but I kind of glowered at them angrily, like. Shut up, Steven Spielberg, or something. I hope you didn't say, shut up, Steven Spielberg. No, I didn't. Because he could push a button and make all of us go away. I know. No, but I sort of like, I looked at them, and then after they turned back around, I looked around, and I think they were smiling at me, and then later somebody said, you know, they have kids who like the show, and so they so actually he was, did recognize he you. He was and... smiling at me, and now, you know, they just walk around thinking, that's that mean mom from TV, and right. like, I'm not putting her in Schindler's List 2, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think there's going to be a Schindler's List 2. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>
All right, well, Gilmore Girls, which uh, everyone loves this show. I mean, it's a great show. It's always on the list of like one of the three best shows. So uh, good for you. It airs Tuesday nights at eight on the WB. So That's true. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> also, your name is Lauren Graham. True. <laughs> and uh, today is 1220. Uh, oh, well, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Lauren Graham, everybody. Yeah. We'll be right back. Bill Bailey. That was funny.